Dynamics GP10, which text is right for you? Whether you choose the Big Book, Computer Accounting with Microsoft Dynamics GP10, or the smaller text, Computer Accounting Essentials with Microsoft Dynamics GP10, you will become familiar with this most popular mid-market software. So let's take a look at your choices. First off, realize that Dynamics GP is built around the customer model. In other words, these are all the users of a typical mid-market accounting software. Notice that these are the user interfaces or the roles that are built in to Dynamics GP. So whether you are a small business person running a company, whether you're in charge of operations with logistics, production, professional services, or customer services types of businesses, or if you're involved in the sales and marketing function, the HR function, the finance or accounting function, or one of the IT or partners of the business, notice that Dynamics GP has a place for you. Now these user interfaces are based upon many many years of research where Microsoft and Dynamics folks went out and sat next to the users of accounting software and basically followed them through what they did every day. Thus the organizational charts and these user interfaces which set up the internal controls and tasks that you would find customized on their desktops. So here are the two texts that introduce you as an systems administrator to Dynamics GP. There's the large text which is 12 chapters and is made for a one or a two semester AIS course and there's the small text that's designed to supplement accounting courses or an AIS course. Notice it's only seven chapters. The small text um, introduces you to a service business. The large text introduces you to not only a service business but a retail business. Let's take a look at the table of contents. For the large text, the course, notice six chapters are spent exploring the power of Dynamics GP and its various modules. Part two sets up and maintains a service business and goes through a normal uh, accounting year for that service business and finishes up with a project and then a make your own business from scratch project. In part three we learn about the vendor and inventory module and the acquisitions and payments module as well as sales and collections we learn about how to run a merchandising business. It finishes up with another project, a uh, project that you design or the student designs from scratch and then a student design project as well based upon their own needs. So here are your choices for whether you want to have an in-depth view of dynamics or more importantly the small taste or complement to an existing accounting course. So here's the small book. Notice we only have one chapter introduction to, uh, to Fabricam which is the sample data company before you start, start up your own business which is a service business. As that service business grows notice we process the cash receipts payments and close the business for the year. When the new year starts, we add acquisitions and payments, sales collections, and then take the business through the closing cycle again. The small book is a perfect complement to intermediate accounting, managerial accounting, or in those early days of AIS courses where you're just trying to get everybody on the same page so you can start teaching. So those are the table of contents for the big book computer accounting and for the small book computer accounting essentials. Here is an overview along with the ISBN numbers and URLs if you want more information 
about the accounting software texts that are available to either be a course or complement your accounting courses. Happy accounting software!